Hello friends, this video on digestion and absorption part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So when you talk about the teeth in human beings, they have a diphyodont dentition. A complex name, right? So what is diphyodont? Let us see. Di means two. Phyo, what is the meaning of phyo? Phyo, this is a Greek term basically. The origin is Greek. Phyo means something related to growth and don't is related to teeth so two growth teeth what is that this means that in mammals this type of dentition or this type of uh, teeth is found in most of the mammals including human beings so it means that there are two sets of teeth which exist in the lifetime of that organism. For example, in case of human beings, you would have observed that when a baby is born, the baby doesn't have any teeth, right? But by the time the baby is some five or six months old, teeth starts arising. Now again, by the time that kid is around eight to ten years old, all the teeth which came up while he was born, they are all gone. And again, a new set of teeth develops. So basically, throughout the lifetime, the two times the complete set of teeth arise. So this is known as diphyodont dentition. So it means two sets of teeth are formed. So when you talk about human beings, one is the temporary milk teeth which develops when you are a kid and this exists till you are around 8 to 10 years old. So it starts, it develops when you are some 6 months old and it exists till you are 8 to 10 years old. After that it develops the permanent adult teeth. So these permanent adult teeth, once broken, do not get replaced. So once they are gone, it's gone. So generally these permanent adult teeth, they start to break down only when you are quite old, maybe more than 60 or something. And also it depends on the strength of your teeth, how much you take care of your teeth. So it also depends on that. So when you talk about the milk teeth, a total of 20 milk teeth exists. And when you talk about the permanent teeth, a total of 32 permanent teeth exist. Right? So this type of dentition where two sets of teeth develops during the lifetime of the individual is known as diphyodont dentition. So you have the entire set of teeth coming twice in your lifetime. Also, the teeth in human beings are thecodont. What is the meaning of thecodont? It means that the teeth set in sockets of jaw bones. Now, if you, I mean, if you try to look at any one of these teeth, let us suppose if I consider any one of these tooth, so a particular tooth, you would see that it is fit inside the socket. So it is something like this socket. You would have seen the socket in the wall and the plug exactly fits into the socket. So there are two holes inside which the plug actually fits in. So similarly, in the jaw, there is a socket kind of a structure which is formed. So gaps are already formed and the tooth exactly fits in. So this type of arrangement or this type of structure of a tooth is known as thecodont. That means the teeth set in sockets of jaw bones. So these are your jaw bones. So if you look at your own tooth, you can actually see that the that it is actually uh, sitting in deep inside your jaw bone, and that is how it is uh, actually structured. So the tooth fits into each tooth fits into the jaw bone socket. And this is called thecodont teeth. So human beings have diphyodont dentition and also they have thecodont teeth. So please remember these terms because it's going to help you. Now let us talk about the types of teeth. Now there are basically four types of teeth. Incisors, canine, premolars and molars. So these are the four types of teeth which exist in human beings. Now let us see what do they do. And where are they? So incisors, they are total 8 in number and where are they located? They are located at the center. So if you see at the center, this is your center, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 on the top and 4 on the bottom. So these total 8 
teeth are the incisors. So they are located at the central portion of the mouth in front of the mouth. You have four on top and four on bottom. Now these are the first teeth to erupt. That means when a baby is born the first time a tooth is developing inside the mouth. So it, it, it is going to be the incisor. So they are the first ones to develop. They generally develop when you talk about the milk teeth. They generally develop at the age of six months. If you talk about the permanent set of teeth, uh, they develop around the age of say eight to nine years. They help in biting food. So in the, the front teeth, you would have often seen that when you try to eat something, you bite it with these teeth. So they help in biting. Can I and the next set? They are total four in number. Where are they located? They are located, located just beside the incisors. So they are total four in number. So this one is canine, this one is canine. Again, at the bottom, this one is canine and this one is canine. So total four in number, one on each side. These are the sharpest teeth. So if you, if you want to see, you just try it inside your own mouth. Just try to touch the tip of your canine. So if you touch the tip, you will actually see that these teeth have got a very sharp edge, something like this. So they are the sharpest teeth. Since they are very sharp, so they would help in uh, tearing things. For example, if you want to tear off something, something is very elastic or very tough, you want to tear it off, so canines will help you in tearing because of its sharp tip. So they help in tearing food. Right? Now, if you talk about when they develop, they also they develop after incisors. So, if incisors develop around the six months of age, the canines will develop around say uh, one year old. When the, after the kid is one year old, the canines start to develop. In case of uh, the milk teeth, when we talk about kids, the upper canines develop before the lower canines. So, when you talk about the milk teeth. So for the temporary set of teeth, upper canines develop first and then the lower canines develop. But when the permanent set of teeth develops later, when the kid is around eight, eight to nine years old, that time the lower canines develop first and then the upper canines develop. So it is just the opposite. While uh, in case of the milk, milk set, set the upper ones develop first, whereas in case of the adult set, the lower ones develop first. So basically location wise, they are located at the dental arches. So you just see, this is how the curvature is for our teeth, right? This is the curvature. So just at the corner of the curvature, if you see. So they are just located at the corner of the curvature. So this is about incisors and canines. So what are premolars? So they are in total eight in number. They help in grinding food. So where do we have the premolars? Now next to the canines, we have the premolars here. So one, two, one, two, again one, two, and one, two. So these are the premolars. Now one interesting thing to note about premolars is that premolars are absent in the milk set. So they are absent in milk set. As I mentioned before also, in the milk set of teeth, the total number of teeth is only 20. Whereas in the adult set, it is um, 32. So that difference comes because some of the teeth are not present in the milk set. So premolars are one of them. So premolars are not at all present in the milk set. It is only present in the adult set of teeth. So these teeth, these, the two teeth which you see at these locations in your mouth now, they are all premolars. But they were not present since you were a child. So while you were a child, what were the teeth which were present in these locations? We will see that very soon. So these premolars are like, they have got a flat surface. So if you look at these teeth, if you try to feel your own teeth with your tongue, you will see that they have got a flat biting surface. Like the bottom of these teeth are like quite flat. So the area is more. So you can bite in a better way. 
and it helps in grinding food. So when the, the chewing part, grinding the food that is done by the premolars. And the last one that is molars. So when you talk about molars, they also have broad chewing surfaces with multiple cusps. So if you feel the teeth which you have towards the end, all these. So they are all molars. So if you see they have got very flat surfaces and they also have cusps like this curvature like structures. So that is how you can identify molars. There are three types of molars which are present inside our mouth. First molar, second molars and third molars. So these are the three types of molars. Now out of these, the, there are few molars which are present in the uh, primary or, or the milk set of teeth and there are some molars which develop later. So let, let us discuss about these different molars in detail. So first we will talk about the first molars, second molars and then third molars. So first molars they are four in number, they help in grinding food. So after the premolars you will have the first molars. So one on each side on top as well as bottom. So that means you will have four first molars and since they also have a flat you know, surface for grinding so they are very suitable for grinding food into smaller pieces. Second molars they are again four in number and they come behind the primary teeth. So now the question is what is the primary teeth? So primary teeth would be these teeth which already existed. So behind that would come the second molars again something like this. So these are going to be your second molars. So molars are basically the largest teeth. So if you see, I mean, if you have ever been to a dentist to get a tooth extracted, you would have seen, or if you have ever seen a sample of an extracted tooth, you can actually see that the tooth which are molars or which are towards the end of your mouth, they are larger than the ones which are present in front. So molars are the largest teeth. So second molars are also four in number. If you talk about the third molars, they are again four in number. One on each side, the last tooth. And this last tooth is often known as the wisdom teeth. And wisdom teeth generally develops these tooth, the third molars I'm talking about. They generally developed around the age of 20 years. So till you are 20, you do not develop the third molars. So most of you might have 28 teeth even now because the wisdom to the wisdom teeth are yet to come up now in fact it has been seen that many human beings do not develop the wisdom tooth at all and sometimes the, while developing this wisdom tooth they tend to cr get crowded with each other or they do not come out properly so in that case the wisdom tooth need to be removed that is the only solution so the third molars they come up very late so they come up when you are almost adult, right? When you talk about the second molars, when do they develop? The second molars appear around the age of 11 to 13 years. So basically this also. So the second molars also develop quite later, not uh, very young. The first molars, they developed quite early. The first molars develop around six years of age. So when you are a kid, so undoubtedly first molars are present in, in your milk teeth set. Now we are going to talk about the milk teeth and the permanent teeth in detail also. That also we will do very soon. Now before that we also need to talk about the primary molars and the permanent molars. So what do we mean by primary and permanent molars? Now as I said, some of these molars are present in the temporary teeth set or the milk teeth set so they are called primary molars and the molars which develop only during the formation of the adult teeth set are known as the permanent molars so now let us talk about the prime thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material Find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.